you already know this video is going to happen. I made a previous video on this before about the upcoming animated series, uh, Dragon Prince, that's uh, been created by the original writers of Avatar The Last Airbender. And more or less, this video will be, of course, a quick rant or review or discussion or anything of that caliber of what I feel about it and, how, and what it is what it is to me and whatnot. Um, I literally just got finished from seeing the, the first two couple episodes. And of course it opened up with this little narration that discusses the world, the, the world of uh, we're, what we're gonna get into and whatnot and the story and the situation and whatnot and all that. And more or less as it, uh, as it continued, they also, as it continued, I was pretty uh, flabbergasted when I, when I figured out the uh, voice actor of Soka was in it. He was pretty much reprising the, he was pretty much reprising the role as he uh, did from Avatar, considering it's the same writer, which actually flabbergasted me. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of what's up, because you know he really did do Soka characters well. His voice really did fit the criteria and whatnot. Which ironically, his tutor of this his. The, the character that uh, 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 Desena De uh, is doing, Ga uh, Callium, I think that's what it was. Callium is pretty much, uh, uh, Tudor is pretty much, fits the same character, characterization of uh, Soka. Like, you know, he's this goofy, he's this humorous, laid back type person. You don't really let shit get to his head. Only, you know, out of comedic purposes and whatnot. And I just felt like it was a nice touch. It was a little reminder of what was going on. You know, like, hey, we're, we're the creators of Avatar. And we still remember. And we're giving references to Avatar in this show. So y'all can get an idea of what we're going at. Uh, more or less, I like the characters. They remind me of a lot of uh, their Avatar counterparts. The humor is just like avatars, actually. The slapstickish, kind of gross out humor with the monster licking the kid spit, which, you know, I was like, Ugh. but, you know, aside from that, you know, the humor is still there. Some of the voice actors were pressing roles. They say it as one of them. Uh, overall, I actually can't wait to see more of the world building on here when they said that the elves more or less pushed the humans out of their little. Uh, land because they uh, more or less the, uh, they more or less waged war against the dragons and the elves and they killed the dragon king and they killed the egg of the dragon king and pretty much that caused a eternal conflict between the elves and the humans. Um, huh, let's see. Uh, it was pretty good. I actually I actually liked how it opened up. The introductory was fine. The CGI is. A little choppy and it looks really slow in some parts but for the most part it pulled off pretty well it reminded me a lot of uh star wars resistance and ruby the animation was but it was choppy but still pretty good uh which i actually noticed a lot of uh tv shows of this day and age is doing cgi like all gene and whatnot so yeah i was fucking with it um already <laughs> And the thing is, it was so great, cause, cause it was so great. Although it said like twenty four minutes, almost seemed like eleven, cause I was just literally just had my face in. It. I'm like, wait, it ended that quickly? Like, wow, this shit was like that though. It just it ended that fast. I thought it was longer than that, but I was just so hooked into it. It was it was pretty good. Uh, I like how the elves, you know. There's, you know, there's, you can actually see that there's world building, you know, here and there or cultural differences here and there. You can tell from just looking at it. Um, pretty much, I'm going to refer to this, of course, you know, as the Dragon Prince because that's the original title, of course. But uh, I'm going to refer to it as a uh, reverse avatar, just like uh, Burn the Witch is reverse London or reverse Bleach. This is, this will be considered the reverse avatar because... Just like, just like Burn the Witch and Bleach, Bleach, especially in the Soul Society, has this more feudal Japanese setting and world to it, while Burn the Witch is more, you know, British colonial and or modern British base. And same thing with uh, uh same thing with Dragon Prince. It's a reverse Avatar because Avatar is more based on a, you know, this 
ancient uh, Asianic Eastern like uh, atmosphere while Dragon Prince is more Middle Earth Lord of the Rings esque world feel to it. So yeah, you know I'm just saying I'm gonna call it Reverse Avatar. Uh, more or less, I can't wait. It's pretty good. I'm still getting to all nine episodes, and uh, I actually like how all the characters more or less fit in. You have the the knights and the girl who practices dark magic, and pretty much their their uh, relationship is really similar to that of so uh, uh, Sokka and uh, Katara, which again I thought was actually pretty good fan service come from the writers' parts. Um, uh, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty hip to it. It's pretty good. For right, for right now, what I've seen, it's a pretty exceptional. Um, if y'all like the video and if y'all like the rant and whatnot, just give a like, give a subscribe. If you want to see more rant and review, quickie reviews on, on uh, the things I do here and whatnot. Give notification. Like always, uh, the Out of Storm is watching you.